No, we're not going to take the south side. We're going to stay right here. That's trespassing. I can speak as I please, and I can speak my religion. Yeah, just not in here, you dip. Free speech doesn't mean you get to walk up into any building you want and say whatever the hell you want. Go back to church, okay? Drag queen story hour. We all know it. We all love it. At least if you're cool. Uncool, unpoggers kids don't like it very much. That would be the conservatives. Conservatives don't like drag queen story hour. Probably just because they don't like fun things. They don't like good things. And they don't like colorful things. They like uh, church, I guess, for some reason. I used to go to church all the time growing up. I don't get the appeal. You sit in a stuffy room for two hours, doing nothing, wishing you could be anywhere else in the fucking world. Tell you to stand and then sit and then stand and then sit and then get on your knees and then sit again. And then like they tell you to eat some guy's body or something. So they're in a vor, which is really weird but anyway i digress about that both of those things are relevant though because we have here a video of a pastor being thrown out of drag queen story hour now how did this come about i've not watched this video yet so let's learn together well, here's our boy right here you know just normal things going on here we are, we are now calling goodbye <laughs> get wrecked the they got some big dudes back there. Look at this dude. My God. Like, I wouldn't want to fuck with him. Are you kidding me? But also, like, the old man was the one who threw him out. I wouldn't fuck with this guy either. Just, just, the both, of them. both of them just, like, fuck off. We have the police coming, so it is your choice. In some ways, I'm more scared of the old man. Because, you know, old men do not give a fuck. Like, they will just kill you. You know what I mean? Like, you get on their bad side. They will. They'll just do it. For love is love. Love is life. Very hateful, very abusive. It's you? It is me a little bit. He is white. I can't hear it that well. Because we don't need to stop the problem. You were disrupting anything. I wasn't disrupting anything. Nothing. It's all over. Okay, so was there like a whole group of people that was with that guy? Is that what this is all about? And they're like arguing right now? They're being indoctrinated with evil. Okay, yeah, yeah. Here we go. What book is he holding? Are these animals' heads on like uh, trophy stands? What book is this? The only book there is it the Bible? We aren't supposed to be homosexuals and transgenders. Those that do this will not inherit the kingdom. Oh God. No, we're not gonna take the south side. You know, I actually saw some of these motherfuckers outside of one of my streets one time, and I had only seen them at the tail end of their little shindig because I drove over. Uh, you can ask Katie what the fuck happened. I drove over and I tried to stand next to them with a sign. I can't remember what I made it say. Something like Jesus loves the gays or something just to fuck with them. Oh man, I wish. Here's the thing. Don't ever give them attention period if, if you can help it. But if you're going to, make them look bad. Make them look like shit, okay? Make them look silly, goofy, whatever. Make them look deeply unserious because they will not listen to you try to debate lord them, okay? Don't ever try to fight them on that shit. They're looking for outrage. So make them look as stupid as possible. That's what you can do. And definitely don't slash their tires, of course. I always yell, I saw you on Grinder this morning. That's pretty good. Transgenders, those that do this will not inherit the kingdom. No, we're not gonna take the south side. We're gonna stay right here. That's trespassing. I can speak as I please. I can speak my religion. Yeah, just not in here, you dipshit. Free speech doesn't mean you get to walk up into any fucking building you want and say whatever the hell you want. Go back to church, okay? Go back to church. Seriously. And what happened, and what happened in there is abuse, right? And they physically... Imagine being one of these motherfuckers. You can go on to almost any goddamn news station you want to preach as much transphobia, and they're trying to take away my Bibles and schools. All the fuck that you want, but no. You have to go into one of these tiny little buildings 
where they're just trying to like vibe, you know, where nobody gives a shit about what you have to say. You just have to go in there and make yourself the center of attention, right? Fuck you, fuck off. They threw me out of there, which is all reported. He's, so I'm happy that their faces are don't reported. Want yelling, scaring I don't trust anyone wearing a beanie. He does not speak for us. I come into your church and scream satanic shit at you. How long will you tolerate it before you throw my ass out? Exactly, exactly. And honestly, I would like to see people start doing that. Just go in and start interrupting church sessions. What the fuck are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? I mean, they can trespass you, sure. But once they say you're no longer welcome here, get out, you leave. And that's it. And that's the only reason I would ever go back to a church, to be quite honest. It's in the darkness on this wickedness. We're talking about it right here. So, so down they can the trespass me and so kick me out and never let me back. It'd be worth it. That this is wrong. That this is evil. To have a pervert dressed up like that is wrong and evil. Why? So children... Don't Why? Parents don't let your children be involved with this wickedness. It's just clothes. By the way, I went to one of these, um, at one of the pop conventions that I went to last year, there was like a drag show and they had kids in there and the kids like participated and put on a bunch of like drag costume, you know? They were literally putting it on over top of their clothes. It was just like ribbons and pieces of cloth and shit. They're like, they had to like make their own outfit. You know, like it was cute, it was whatever. And there's just nothing wrong with it. There's zero that happened there that was wrong. They even had somebody in a Sonic outfit. And honestly, when I saw that drag performer in a Sonic outfit, that was where I was kind of like, you know, maybe drag was a mistake. But other than that, it was pretty cool. Agenda is sweeping Yeah, kids playing dress up, exactly. We gotta come against this, we gotta stand against this. Now is the time, now is the time where we need to stand up, we need to rise up, guys. Okay, yeah. That was about it. But yeah, I mean, not a whole lot to say about this. Just, you know, we all know what the fuck happens in churches, dude. So you don't got to go around pretending like we're the ones doing the child abuse. It's really interesting. You know, they like they love to talk about how like, oh, my God, like these gays, these queers, man, they're abusing our children. They're making them wear these clothes, which, first of all, like wearing clothes is whatever. Little girls wear dresses. Why can't little boys wear dresses? It don't make fucking sense. Do I dare ask what the comments say? We can check. You can always check. Let's amuse ourselves. Excellent treatment. That's a good one. I have no pro Oh God, a blue waiver? Really? I have no problem with an adult who wants to dress up and drag. It's their business. The children, however, are too young to understand their adult choices. It's simply not appropriate for them to inject themselves into a child's book reading. Sorry, not sorry. Really? You're gonna have my boy Brandon in your goddamn profile picture and not be on board with the force estrogenation- estro estrogen This is estrogenation Really? I don't even imagine what bile awaits in the doom scroll. Yeah, fake lefty, true. Nor is it appropriate for children to go into religion or to be raised right wing. Like, this is so weird. Like, why are you as a Democrat saying this? You know, nothing wrong's happening in there. Yeah, proud Democrat. You know what? I shouldn't even be questioning it. This is some old fuck, some geriatric piece of shit, you know? Still not as bad as a conservative, I'm sure, but... Makes sense that this would happen in Calgary. Obviously, this hate happens in other places as well, but if you just told me Canada... Oh, so this is in Canada. See, it ha it's happening in Canada too, dude. <laughs> Why aren't you tolerating our intolerance? Called Paradox of Intolerance. Yeah, I love that comic. It's a great visual. Street justice is all we have left because we no longer have a functioning Department of Justice. Wait, what? A lot of people standing around doing nothing when they could be kicking this guy out of the building, even physically preventing those willing from uh, to from doing so. This is more demonstration of how pathetically ineffectual liberals are defending others than anything. No, I mean, they kicked the guys out of the room where the event was taking place. That's all you needed to really do. And then you and then you keep him out. As long as he's outside of that room, I don't give a fuck. You can stand like in this area and preach the, whatever the fuck you want. I don't I don't think anything's going on there. If it's public property, then whatever. I guess that's your right. Like that was pretty sick what they did right there. Like and also, nobody's obligated to engage in, like, physical force. You know what I mean? Nobody should have to do that shit. Pastor. Funny, I don't remember the part of the Bible where Jesus bullied people because he looked down on them and didn't understand them. Yeah, everyone misses that part. And he said unto them, get that gay shit out of here. Bigots 420. Crazy none of these dudes ended up punched, especially considering how incredibly punchable they all are. Yeah, they got out pretty unscathed, I'll be honest. They got out pretty fucking unscathed. Normalized throwing bigots to the ground when they don't shut up. Hateful people. Person recording needs to take them outside and turn off the body cam, if you will. Oh, no. You know what? They're not police officers. Yeah, he, sa he says nothing wrong. He speaks only the truth. That was a pretty good comment say, uh, section. Wait, wait, one more, one more, one more. Good job keeping someone that is actually likely to be a groomer out of those spaces. Very, very true. 
Never has a truer thing been said since uh, at, at least this morning. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. You can join my channel membership at youtube.com slash TTV slash join for only 99 cents a month. That's less than the price of a blowjob from your mom. You can be part of the channel membership program and you will get early access content as well as a sweet badge next to your name and exclusive emojis in the comments that nobody else gets. Thank you again, and I will see you all in the next video.